Hello, this is Lady Jana. Welcome back to my channel. I did make another find at Dollarama. It's a stitch project. It's a stitch project on a canvas. Very interesting. I've never seen this kind of project before. Keep on watching and I'll give you more details. This is what I found. So this project measures 11 by 14. It's called Quick Stitch Projects and it's from Anchor and Big Stitch Art. At first glance you would think, oh this is to paint, but color on the canvas. If you turn it around, this is where you see all of the floss. You can also see directions, instructions, and how to do the stitches. Let's open this up. This is the canvas. It says it's acid-free, archival quality. It's a pre-screened design on 100% cotton stretched canvas. We have eight cards of six strand embroidery floss, one embroidery needle, and a needle threader. It also comes with one page instruction. So the direction, choose the stitch direction guide to the design purchase. So there are three different designs. My design is this one here. We need to follow the arrows when when we do the stitches, when we embroider. And this is how we do the stitches. The first part, you go this way. For the second part, you go this way and so forth. So you just follow the, the arrows. Work each color block with a matching color floss, keeping the stitches on the outline as per the three illustrated method. Separate embroidery floss range and rejoin to create a smooth finish. My question is, each floss has six strain. So do we use just one strain? After reading the instructions a few times, I have decided I'm going to use two strands of floss because I don't think that one strain is enough. Also, when I do work, I never do knots. I never knot the back. I'll show you how I do it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do this portion. If you look at our instruction, it says to go this way where the point is. Because of this, to make this easier, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here. I'm going to work my way up and down until I reach this point and then come back and up and down until I reach this point. So again, I've never done this before, but I have done cross stitch. Let me just show you. And I really don't know how, how hard it's going to be. The needle is big. Oh my God. The needle is way too big for this. Let me just change needles. So here I have a smaller needle. It will punch, it will make a smaller hole. Now let's try this again. Okay. And normally what I do, let's, let's look at the back. I will keep a, a certain length on the back side. So as I work my stitch, this portion will get caught underneath all of the other stitches. Keeping my finger to lock the, this portion, I'm going to turn my canvas around and then I'm going to start. So I'm going to start at this point and then I'm going to come back and this time I'm going to start So l let me just show you what I meant on the back. So as I pull, so this piece will be trapped on this. So let me just do a few stitches and, and I'll show you what I mean. So I did complete a little portion. I'll show you. What do I think about this? I don't like it. First thing, first of all, even though I changed needles, the needle is still too big. Look at the big holes it's creating. The hole will not close up. The hole will stay there. It's a good thought. It's a nice project, but I don't like it. I'm not going to waste time and finish this project. Um, yeah, let me just show you closely. I really, really don't like it. Let me just show you on the back what I meant earlier. This is the thread that was here. And as I work my piece, it went under all of these floss and this is how I secure it. I think it's a good idea, but not on canvas. So for the cost, I bought this at Dollarama, but I did look online. This project, anywhere between 15 and $20 USD. 
So it is expensive. It is quite expensive. I just don't want to do it. These are projects that are long to make. You need to give it time, but if it's not going to do good, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try another color and see. Let's do that. Before I make my final decision, and again, look at all of the holes it made. I was able to cover up this ho these holes with the floss, but half of these, these are not very nice. I do believe this is a great project if you use embroidery material like Ada cloth or cross stitch material, but not on canvas. On canvas, it makes holes. You cannot hide these holes afterwards. So for this project, it is not something that I'm going to continue. I'm not going to finish this off. If you have any suggestions about these holes, comment in the comment section. Tell me what I can do about these holes and maybe I'll continue or finish this off. But right now, this I'm going to just put this aside. I'm not satisfied with this. Not whatsoever. Please like and subscribe and see you in the next video.